Well, here's the question of the day. What do you get when you take some fiberglass strand, chop it up, and you mix it with some polyester resin, throw a little catalyst in it, and let it get hard. Noisy thing, but then you take a few brackets that you've cut on the CNC machine, and you take these over here, you chop up a few links of steel, you weld them together, you get something that starts looking like that, you throw on some upholstery, you pretend it's Christmas when all your GM performance parts start showing up. Then you throw a coat of paint on everything. Well, if you haven't guessed yet, let me give you a clue. chassis but in my almost 40 years of doing cars this is the first turnkey 34 I've ever done and I mean Alice has built my dream car we built this for Lady Alice down in Texas and it's getting ready to go home um, so let's do a quick tour around it we'll do a product preview on this car this one has a hood it's got a steel hood on it It's got windshield wipers and everything else you need in the car. Now this has suicide doors on this car. You can put a door handle on it, but this car has a pretty neat feature. We put power door locks on it to open the door. It's got bucket seats. They're electric and they're fully adjustable. Tilt columns. Of course it has air conditioning. The master cylinder is under the floorboard. The carpet will lift up and you can get that. It's got all the features. got a radio and got all kinds of modern features for a car. You can get your upholstery, different colors. This is kind of a, a leather imitation leather, but we can do it in leather. We can do it different styles. We can do cloth. We can do it We can do it red. We can blue, do it blue. We can do it green, whatever you'd like for interior. We can sew different patterns into that. This particular car happens to have a, a three gauge package. There's a four in one gauge for your for your fuel and, and the temp and oil and all that then there's a tack and then you of course have your uh, speedometer we've got the radio got an overhead console car also has wipers and defoggers this is the button for here to open your trunk and it has of course an e-brake In the trunk, we put our battery in the trunk. You have an access panel. And there's some safety features for to charge your battery, you know, if it happens to go dead. This car happens to have bumpers front and rear. I really like the color. You know, at first, my dream car wouldn't have had bumpers, but now that I see this one, Alice, good choice. I think you built the car. If I would have sat down and really thought about it, you got my car. So don't be too mad if I clone it someday and you see me driving around in it. But right now, I think it's time to go on the trailer and go home to Texas. <laughs>